Good evening, welcome to the 7 o'clock news with me, Mr Tilbury. So, Goldilocks. First of all, our viewers want to know why, why, why? You know, why were you... Why did you enter that bear's house? Was there no breakfast at your house? And where's your mother? Was it raining outside? What was the weather like? What made you... Why did you enter that house? Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay, why? Why, why, why? Well, I guess I should start at the beginning. I was playing in my garden. I'm only seven. I'm not allowed to go out of the garden without my mummy or my daddy. And I had just got my new binoculars and I was using them to see what animals I could spot. I saw a bunny, so I chased after it. And it kept running and I kept running. I tried to keep up with it. And then all of a sudden I realised oh, I was in the woods. I didn't really know whereabouts I was. <sighs> but it was a lovely sunny day, so I kept walking to see what else I could see. And then oh, my legs started to get tired. And I was hungry and I was thirsty. And then I saw the cottage. So I went over and I was going to knock on the door. But the door was open, so I called. I said, hello, hello, is anybody there? Nobody answered, so I went in. Thank you, Goldilocks. So, Baby Bear's Things, you, took a, you were very keen to look at Baby Bear's Things and use his things, and you enjoyed his things. Uh, his porridge, his chair, his bed. I mean, poor baby bear, you know, you used all of his things. I mean, did you think about your actions at all? Hmm, I guess you're right. I didn't really realise that they were all baby bear's things at the time. I just tried all the porridge and that one tasted by far the best. And then when I wanted to sit down, that chair was my size. All the others weren't quite right. I did try them first. It's just that that one was my favourite. I didn't mean to break it. And I did feel really awful that I had. And then I was just really tired. So I looked at all the beds and none of them were quite right. Baby Bear's bed was just the right size for me. And it looked so comfy and I was so tired. I guess I wasn't really thinking about baby bear's feelings. I was just thinking about how I was feeling at the time. Thank you, Goldilocks. Now, this is uh, from our, our viewers. They noticed your hair. Now, you do have very lovely hair, Goldilocks. Um, is it real? How do you keep it so soft? Oh. <laughs> It's funny you should ask. Um, I use Golden Lock Shampoo, brought to you by Golden Head and Shoulders. Finally, Golden Locks, um, with every action there is a consequence. And we, our viewers want to know, um, do you feel bad? Will you be repairing the chair? Will you go back? Will you be giving, offering some, a gift? How will you make those bears feel better? Oh, well, the truth is, is I, I feel awful about it. I've thought about it non-stop since getting home. I'm not really sure what I could do to make it better. I feel like I've got butterflies in my tummy and I just want to make, it, make them happy again. I don't like thinking of baby bear being sad. I know, maybe your viewers could help me. Can you think of any ideas? What should I do?